This is James Holder for IFL TV in association with Macklin's Jim Marbella. I'm in Liverpool today ahead of the domestic grudge match, which is Nathan Cleverley versus Tony Bellew. With me, I've got former WBO light heavyweight champion Nathan Cleverley. How are we doing, Nathan? Very good, mate. Very good. It's good, it's good to be in Liverpool. Uh, fifth time here now, so been successful four times in, you know, in the past. So hopefully uh, make it fifth time in a row. Absolute fireworks in the press conference today, as to be expected when you two come together. Can you give me a reaction to how you think the press conference went? Yeah, good press conference. So he said he said what he had to say. I said what I had to say. Um, no, a lot of talking going on. You know, a lot, a lot of talking. But he um, he likes to get his point across and, 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 and bring up this, that, and whatever, and you know, a bit of everything really. But ultimately, the bottom line is that I've won the first fight, and the second fight, I'm gonna. Do a repeat mission, and and that's the fact of the matter. You know, he can say whatever he wants. He can go on and and mouth off and disrespect and do whatever he's got to do. But ultimately, you know, I'm aiming to to make it 2-0 on, on fight night, November the 22nd. Where does this intense dislike of each other come from? Where where has this started? Well, on his on his side, you know, he reckons I've disrespected him in the past. You know, saying to him that. On fight night, it was it was a hard fight, and I don't want the rematch. And then later saying it was an easy fight. Where the truth is, on fight night when we embraced at the final bell, he said to me, "Forget the rematch," because it was a tough fight. Yeah, and later on in the, you know in the in the press conferences and in and in press, I did say I was in second gear. You know, I had seven weeks training camp for that fight, and that's the genuine truth. Seven weeks training camp. I do believe there was a lot more in the tank for me to give, but I'm going to give it in that rematch, in this rematch. And, and, and you know, ultimately, his dislike for me stems a long way back. You know, the truth of the matter is, we were both Frank Warren fighters at one stage. We were both under the same promoter. Two light heavyweights. I was the number one light heavyweight in the Frank Warren stable. Tony Belly was number two. And he's never got over that fact. I went on to, to become Commonwealth, British, European and world champion. He has never got over that fact. And, and, and that's the reason why he threw, he threw his toys out of the pram. He, he sulked, he whinged, he moaned, he cried at the first loss. He went running to Hedy Hearn. Hedy Hearn bailed him out, got him a second world title opportunity in Canada. Again, Tony Bellew shouted off his mouth, put the headbutt into a Adonis Stevenson and he got done, he got bowled over. That's the real truth. That's why he dislikes me, because I was his rival. I was in his way. I was number one, I was number one in, in that promotional camp. And now I'm over here with Sky Sports, with Eddie Earn, same promoter, and the fact that I, I'm, I'm threatening to be number one cruiserweight, that's killing him, and that's why he hates me. With you both now having two fights at cruiserweight, new, new weight, new territory for you both, do you think the loser of this fight is kind of, kind of left left behind now, and that will be him with the winner moving on to greater things? It's it's not an option, mate. You know, losing is not an option. It's, there's too much on the line. There's too much on the line. You know, it's the the winner goes on to fight for a world title. You know, in a massive fight, the chance to become a you know, world champion of cruiserweight, massive opportunity. You know, and to let that slip against a rival like Tony Bellew. I just can't contemplate that, it's, and it's, it's certainly not an option for me. Um, and for the loser, which will be Tony Bellew, he may as well retire. He may as well retire because after after all the talk he's given, after the way he's mouthed off, he's put himself on a pedestal up high. And when I knock him off that pedestal, there's no way for him to go. Saw the uh, Liverpool fans giving you some banter today. Do, do you predict a tough time for, for Tony Bellew when he reaches Wales today for the second leg? Well, that's, that's part of the business, mate. You know, part of boxing. Fight fans getting behind their favourite fighter, supporting their home fighter. You know, that's understandable. That's part of boxing. Totally acceptable. Totally understandable. I accept it. I enjoy. I enjoy going along with it. You know, I enjoy playing the game with my fans, with rival fans. I enjoy every every part of it. And today it was it was Tony's turn in Liverpool in front of his fans. Now we go to Cardiff in front of my fans. It's going to be some fun.
Nathan, thank you for giving me a bit of time today. Don't mind, Jim. I'll see you in